guys and welcome back to today's video. Today I'm going to be filming a what's in my mobile nail kit. So I have been a beauty therapist for I think around 5-6 years. I qualified in 2015 and I have been mobile since 2017 I think I want to say, not long after I passed my driving test. So the big pink case that I use, I bought from Amazon and I think I've had it for just over a year. Um, it comes in two parts, so it has the bottom bit with the wheels on it and then it's got the long um, kind of like suitcase handle that you can use to wheel it around. And then the top that comes apart is also like the, um, like a makeup kind of box where you open and it has all the different tiers and shelves on it. So I'm going to show you it in part one and part two just because of where I'm sitting in my bedroom at the moment there's not space for me to have it um, that you guys can see it properly. So I'm going to go through the case and show you guys what I take out with me when I do a client. I also do treatments such as um, massages and waxing, tinting, spray tan, stuff like that. But this is just my specific nail case. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. I know that I absolutely love watching other people's what's in my bag videos, especially nail related videos because I'm just obsessed and I'm just nosy with what other people carry in their kit. So this is the top of the case here, it's very battered, um, I should have probably cleaned the top of it a bit but anyway, you can actually use a key to lock the case if you want to but if not it does fasten with these two clips here and then you can open up and this is what you first see when you open the top. So along here all I have are my Magpie glitter colours, they all are individually named um, this one is called Ruby, we then have Holly and Carol, this one is called Isabel, Margot I believe is the purple one, Anastasia, Melissa, Lacey, Blossom and is this Ruby, oh Scarlet. So they're actually glass bottles these and Magpie are the place to go if you are looking for glitter, they do so many. You can actually buy the whole collection in one bundle, but I think I would need a forklift if I had that many. But this is just the ones that I have for the moment, and I absolutely love them. And then along here I have some of the Lacente glitters. Um, these are fairly old, I think I got these not long after I qualified. This one is called Baby Pink, and then we just have some random ones. Some of the glitters I use are chunkier than the others, for example this is a chunky glitter and this one is called cardinal i think if i'm saying that right c-a-r-d-i-n-a-l and then the baby blue i absolutely love that's kind of like a holographic so pretty and then on this side we have here all of my um gel brushes all of my nail art brushes some of them are from like ebay or aliexpress this is a silicone tool i think this was from aliexpress I then have my Magpie Detailer, and you can actually buy the lids separately, because if you can see, it's such a fine brush, can you see it, that you want to protect the bristles, so I bought the lids separately, and then I also have my Striper Brush, and then we've got the Magpie Applicator, another favourite is the Magpie Duster, which is this big purple brush here which gets rid of any excess glitter and then probably one of my most favourite brushes which I've not actually yet used but just the look of it is so beautiful it's the Magpie Gel 4 brush let me take it out of the plastic so that you can see it because it actually has all this glitter that moves how pretty is that so I bought this just before the first um, lockdown in March last year, so I haven't actually had a chance to use this one yet, but hopefully I will have a play with that soon. And then in here I have all of my um, brushes for doing chrome. These are, some of them are from like Poundland, some of them are from actual chrome supply um, shops. These are my ombre heads that go in the end of this brush. I tried to use this a bit last year but couldn't really get the hang of it. But there's more pointed heads like that or flat heads 
like that. So that's mainly what I have in the top. When you open up and come inside, um, I have here my um, nail cutters or tip cutters, whatever you want to call them. I am not qualified in tips, but I practice them myself and hopefully when we're allowed to go on a training course, then I can do so. I then have my nail art palette. This was from AliExpress. I know that you can make these like out of resin and stuff. This was fairly cheap. I've then got most of my cuticle oils in here. I really like this one from Miley. It's apricot. It's literally, there's so much in there. It's lasted me for ages. I also really, really like the um, CND solar oil. That's a really lovely one. It smells so nice. Got some random files. Um, these aren't ones that I use on clients. Clients have their own files. And then I have this random um, cuticle oil. I think this was from like Pound Stretch or something maybe. I have some plasters in there and a scrub brush at the back, which I love. And then on this side I have some more glitters. I'm not too sure where these were from. I believe they were from somewhere like AliExpress or something like that. I'm not actually too sure where these ones were from. I have a chrome. This is from Lisente again. This is the rainbow chrome. Some of these are from AliExpress that I've not yet tried still. There's this pink one here. They still have the seals on the front of them. And I've got a Mickey Mouse or Minnie Mouse, Mickey Mouse here, little sequins. And then in here we have some peel off latex. I've never used this before, but it's just kind of handy to have to go round the nail if you're doing like stamping or something. I've then got some magpie um, glue, which is for the tips that I practice. I've got some foil. This is from Magpie. This is, does it have a name? No, it's just the gold foil. And then I've got some of my flakes and stars back here. I also have a chrome, which is Bella. Same name as my dog. Then we have, this is Lexi. And we have the stars, which are, I think they're just called the stars. And then Rosanna, which is such a lovely flake. And then what's this one? Trixabel, which is so pretty. So that's what I have in that section. And then in here I just have some random um, toenail nail clippers. I don't actually know why these are in there. And then I've got some striping tape, which it's kind of seen better days. And then I have a triangle tray for diamonds. And then a random pack of diamonds that are all spilling everywhere and actually I have the keys for the case in here as well but I don't tend to lock it so they just stay in there and then you come into the main section here it doesn't really have an order or anything this is it's actually broken I've ordered this twice from an Amazon seller um, it clips onto the front of your phone so that you can take better pictures and I charge it all the time and it just doesn't turn on so I should probably take that out and then this is another charger for it that I tried and it still didn't work. Then we've got some a new pack of nail files in here because as I said, clients get their own nail files. Then I have some of the Magpie Inkies. This one is gold, I think. Is it just called gold? Yeah, gold. And then I have red or pink, what's it called? Deep red. And then I just have the white inky. We've also got, these are actually um, foot salts in here. I think they're from Bayless and Hardin. And then I have like body butters that I use for hand cream. This is another Bayless and Hardin cream. Heel balm. This is um, from Avon. And then you've also got some from Soap and Glory as well. And then at the very bottom, I have my Magpie nail tips. But as I said, I'm not yet qualified to do them on clients. It's just that I've tried them on myself once or twice. And this was a favourite with clients last year. I used this around autumn time. It's the Body Shop Vanilla Pumpkin. Absolutely love the Body Shop hand creams. And then we also just had some random shellac products because I used to use shellac before I used Magpie. This is just a top coat and then a random colour called Unearthed, which I haven't yet used or found the use for. Then on this side we have these random... 
um, I think there's three, six, nine, twelve, twelve polishes. A client actually gave me these, and I, I don't use them on clients. I just tend to use them for nail art and stuff. So this is the swatch stick of all of those random twelve polishes. Some of them are actually really pretty. Um, and then we have just some random diamonds and a cuticle stick. Um, more diamonds. These are my soak off clips, so there should be 10 in there. Um, this is the strap if you want to carry the case over your shoulder. I don't ever use that, but it's just in there so I don't lose it. And then this is basically all of my stamping stuff. So I use the stamper from Dixie Plates. Oh, it's the Diamond Duo stamper. I do actually need to buy a new one because this one's just getting a bit old now but it's double sided you've got the more um, magnified side on one side and the sticky bit on the top there I absolutely love this stamper I've used this one before as well which is by yours didn't like this one as much as the Dixie and then I have my appointment cards in here so this is um, for clients to take if they want it written down for their next appointment and then at the bottom I just have a lot of stamping plates, so a lot of them as you can see are by um, Moyu London. Absolutely love stamping plates, I don't actually use them as much as I would like to, because I always forget I have them, but this one is from um, Moyu, that doesn't have a sleeve. Um, some of them I've bought as well, this one is from Nicole Diary, this was actually from, um, where was that one from? AliExpress or something, this is like a marble plate, love that one, and then you have a Halloween plate, love that one as well, and then got some random plates that were from eBay, don't really tend to use those, here is my well loved scrape card, absolutely love this one, and then we just have some more stamping plates from yours, so this was from the Sweet Squared website, so we've got the Christmas one, stars, just a bit of a mixture because clients always have something different. And then you have the bottom of the case with the handle that goes all the way up or all the way down. Um, I actually do need to buy a new case or new kind of storage because this is actually broken, you'll see in a minute. But on top here I just have rested the Magpie hand and tool sanitizer. absolutely love this, this is definitely a must in... Covid times, but I say that it's it's pretty good to have at all times anyway. Then I have all of my Magpie gel colours. Um, I use the Dynamo, or Dynamo, how would you say it? Label maker, and I think it works well. I, I do like to update them every so often and put them on like different nail shapes and like redo the top coat and stuff. I've not done that for a while. Um, I need another way to store these as well, these are all of my stamping polishes from Born Pretty, um, I have a few in here from Hit The Bottle, um, my black and white are from Hit The Bottle and then mainly all of the colours are from Born Pretty, but yeah I don't really have, I need a better way to store them than just in this bag. Then I have my lint roller which is at the moment not looking great, I've got some pumpkins on there from Halloween, that was the last time I did <laughs> any nails. And then, yeah this is what I use to get the stamp off the stamping, um, what's it called, off the stamper. I then have some pre-cut up cotton pads because this is what I use when I do removals and then there's just a random filing block, random file in there and then some more tin foil for doing removals and then I like to keep my top and base at the top here so that it's easy to get to I use the Magpie Don't Be Tacky and then we have the Magpie Give Me Strength which I just include in all of my treatments the primer, Magpie Primer and then the All About The Base which is looking pretty gunky and then I just bought these bottles from Amazon, they were fairly cheap and then again I've used my label maker, so this is the Magpie Cleanser, the Magpie Prep and Wipe and the Magpie Remover. I didn't actually check to see if the bottles were acetone resistant but I don't think they are because this has happened and then all along the bottom has gone really cloudy 
but they seem to work. You open the top like this and then you put a lint pad or cotton pad on the top and just pump away and then it doesn't spill or anything like that. So then you have these clips on the side which actually come undone and then this should be like a box but Bella actually broke it maybe like six months ago she accidentally stood on the corner of it because this is where I usually keep my nail colours but as she stood on it it's now not sturdy enough to keep the colours in so this side is actually broken and the front is actually broken so I don't like to put too much heavy breakable stuff in here because it's just a mess and then in the bottom of the case here I have some extra pure acetone this is from Miley then I have more brushes and nail art tools the tools that I have in here are all just a bit random we've got some cuticle nippers cuticle pushers some nail clippers somehow Bella's managed to get back in the room you sound like a pig you sound like a pig I apologize if you can hear her in the background Connor's too busy playing Xbox and Bella's not getting enough attention so she's up here with me again um, again random cuticle pusher tweezers just some random bits and bobs in here I just have some random files a lot of these brushes are old makeup brushes this is an old Real Techniques brush I use this for just like dusting off um, dust or glitter I find that they work just as well then I have these napkins which are actually from Ikea I tend to use these at the moment instead of towels because I would be washing so many towels if I used one per client so I just use a napkin to protect the table then got my pack of lint wipes I tend to buy these from Just Care Beauty I find that they're um, affordable from there and this is a pack of 200 I then have my navy hygiene set I believe is this step one let me have a look yeah so this is the step one which is clean and then step two which is disinfect these are a lifesaver especially when you're mobile so they're biodegradable and vegan friendly which is so nice and once I'm finished with a cuticle knife or pusher or nippers anything like that I will use step one and then step two I also then keep my lamp in here this is the Sun UV 2C lamp I absolutely love this it's so good it comes with a detachable bottom so that if you're doing pedicures you don't have to have the bottom on there I am but I just love this lamp it cures my magpie polishes really well and that's what I have been using for over a year now then I have these photo books which were actually from the range so this one I have mostly all of my fo loose foils um, I try and have them excuse me <laughs> I try and have them in colour order my most used foil is probably like a rose gold copper towards the end of the book here I have some stickers these are like unicorn stickers I've then got these letters some summary ones flowers flowers what else do we have feathers these like geo designs marble leopard print flowers stars kind of a bit of everything these are really funny these ones a lot of these are from aliexpress there's like mcdonald's peppa pig fast food stars louis vuitton versace just a bit of randomness in there and then in the second one which is also from the range i have my decals in here so at the front there are halloween there's so many shoved into one folder halloween and then we have all the christmas ones and then towards the back we have disney which are popular in children and adults there's snow white minnie mouse ariel uh, lilo and stitch dumbo Beauty and the Beast, they were really popular last year as well. And then just some random Halloween ones at the back as well. So that's what I keep in these booklets. And then last but not least, I have all of my colours. I used to have the colours in the middle of the case in that little section there. But because the polishes are the heaviest thing, 
I found having them in the middle, it would always make the top of my case come apart from each other because the weight was distributed in the middle, but now I have them all in the bottom. I do need to get a, a box that actually fits the whole um, bottom of the case, but at the moment I just have half here and they're kind of wedged in so they're not going to move. And then I have the rest of them in my nail lamp box. So let me just show you a few of the colours. I recently just did all of the um, top, the colours on the top. This is Jazzy Joe. This is a really nice blue. I can't remember where these are from. I know you can get like similar things from eBay, but my mum actually gave me these. I think they're like non-scratch feet for like placemats or something, but they work really well. And then I also have these at the front. These were from eBay, I think. I just love Magpie polishes. They come in a 50 mil, 15 mil bottle. Um, the brush is really nice. The pigment's really nice. A lot of these swatches are only one coat. Garden of ED. This is really, really lovely. This is a sparkly rose goldy one. And then, yeah, we just have some more down there as well. The ones that don't have um, dots on the top are, for example, this is my Get Foiled. And then this one is my um, Build Me Up. I'm not qualified in extensions or anything. This is just personal use only. And then this one here is another top coat but this is a wipe you have to cleanse the inhibition layer on this one whereas with the don't be tacky you don't have to cleanse but yeah there are a lot of colours in the bottom there if you want me to go into detail in which, which colours I have then maybe I can include that in like a separate vlog or something but I don't want to bore you and go through absolutely every single colour just excuse my pyjama bottom for one second but this is what the case looks like I'm five foot one um, and the case comes up just below my hip bone um, this is the top half as you can see connected to the bottom it has the big handle that you can use to wheel along but I tend to use the long handle and this handle just for support because it is quite heavy when you're lifting it in and out of your car the bottom half comes apart like that and then you're left with just the bottom half and then it's got the wheels on the bottom just like that so that is my mobile nail case i hope you found this video interesting to watch if you have any questions or i missed where something was from then please leave it in the comments and i will go through and try and be as helpful as possible i will link in the description um, a lot of the products mentioned in this video and um, please turn your notifications on so that you don't miss out on a video i'm trying to pre-record in lockdown as many videos as possible so what i tend to do is film and then on the same day edit and then upload that video for scheduled for a later date oh here she comes so if you have any video requests then please leave them in the comments and i will be sure to reply to you i hope you have a good day and i hope you enjoyed bella's so loud and I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys soon. Bye!